Welcome back to SBR Forum Videos. Last season around the playoffs, a buddy of mine gave me a call and he said, hey, I bet you that the Clippers are going to beat the Spurs. I told him that he's crazy. We put a little money on it, and guess what? I lost. And uh, even though the Clippers got dominated in the next round uh, uh, to the Houston Rockets as they went on to the Western Conference Championship game, uh, obviously the either the team that would have won that game would probably have been spent after uh, so much energy expended by the Clippers especially and Chris Paul getting hurt and blah, blah, blah. But this offseason, they've done a lot of retooling, and they're coming in as potential very good value to win the NBA championship next season. Now you say, Jordan, come on, the Clippers are cursed. They're never going to win an NBA championship. Well, as I say to you, just look at this team's depth chart right now at what they're looking at as a rotation. These guys could go 10 or 11 guys deep. They brought in Lance Stevenson. They still could retain, maybe trade Jamal Crawford, but still, they have a lot of guys even backing up, even down to Cole Aldridge behind DeAndre Jordan, who is a very undervalued young big man in this league. With Josh Smith coming over, Paul Pierce coming over, this is a team you cannot sleep on to win the NBA championship. And looking at their future odds, they are absolutely a value right now. 10 to 1 is a huge discount for the uh, Los Angeles Clippers style of talent. And sure, they play in a division with the Golden State Warriors, who are right now around 4 or 5 to 1 in the NBA championship. They have to deal with the Spurs, a team they beat last year, but now has LaMarcus Aldridge, which completely changes the game. You'll get the Golden, uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder, excuse me, who's also head of the uh, Los Angeles Clippers. I think the Clippers are better than uh, uh, better than uh, the uh, Golden, or excuse me, Oklahoma City Thunder. I think they're almost as good as Golden State and uh, San Antonio. As we saw last year, they probably weren't as good as San Antonio, but still beat them in a seven-game series. You have to look at this team at ten to one as a really good value to win the NBA championship next season. Do not sleep on them, and as long as they can stay healthy, you have to look at this team as not only not only one to win the championship, but as a team that could be good against the spread because a lot of people might discount them as well. Last season, even though they were getting a lot of public money, they were still a really good bet against the spread. And with, with the West improving, with teams like San Antonio, Golden State, and even Oklahoma City taking a lot of the press, the Clippers have really slowly and steadily, and probably even quietly, the exception of the DeAndre Jordan situation, really improved this offseason and now have a veteran team along with a lot of superstars and even former superstars. This team is going to be a great bet at 10-1 to 1 to win the NBA championship. It's a little bit of a long shot, but at 10-1, to 1, the value is absolutely there. Do not sleep on Los Angeles this season. Take a look at them as well against the spread next year, too. But that'll do it for me this time. For SBR Forum Videos, I'm Jordan Sharp.